Hey there, it's Mrs. G, and today we're going to talk about Fauvism. Wajahuism? Fauvism, meaning literally translated from the French, wild beast ism. To understand Fauvism, like most art styles, you have to understand what came before it. The major art style in the late 1800s, early 1900s was Impressionism. Impressionism focused on painting outdoors to capture the change in daylight using short, quick brushstrokes. Impressionism was named after Claude Monet debuted his now famous work, Impression Soleil Levant, or Impression Sunrise. So the bigwigs of the art world who met in salons, art shows, not beauty parlors, were used to seeing the soft colors and peaceful scenes of Impressionism artwork. They adored Impressionism. Nothing was as popular as Impressionism. No artists were as talented as Impressionist artists. Yada, yada, yada. Until a group of artists showed their work amongst the Impressionist and Post-Impressionists at a salon in 1905, where art critic Louis Vossel exclaimed, De Fauve, or Wild Beasts, giving the newly emerging group of artists their permanent name, Fauvis. Among these wild beasts were Maurice de Vlaminck, Raoul Duffy, André Dorian, and of course, the wildest beast of them all, Henri Matisse. Imagine seeing those subdued impressionist landscapes day after day, year after year, and then suddenly be visually assaulted with the vibrant, unnatural color and simplified forms of Fauvist artwork. You might find them beastly yourself. Check out his self-portrait. Notice the heavy outlining, the quick, almost messy brush strokes, even the painting of his wife, yes, his wife, employs some interesting color choices. I don't know about you, but if my husband painted my face green, I might not be too pleased. But that's their style, those fauves. They were known as some of the greatest colorists of the 20th century, using paint straight out of the tubes without mixing it, without caring whether it resembled natural appearances or not. Matisse then got into what I like to call cut and paste art, which really explored negative space. The space left behind when you cut out a shape out of paper. If you look at the blue and white areas in this painting, the white space is the negative space. Some people have a hard time respecting pieces like Matisse's Icarus because it looks like anyone could do it. But the key in appreciating this style, like many art styles, is knowing that yeah, maybe anyone could do it now, but Matisse was the first to do it, and that's why he's famous. That's why he was a wild beast. This style is often referred to as violent, which to me seems a little harsh, but it's a pretty good description of one, the color, as it was very bright and in your face. Two, the application of color, painted very quickly and choppy. And three, how it set off a virtual explosion of art styles to come in the 20th century. Artists were becoming risk takers, abandoning the classical art styles of the past and finding new inventive ways to both shock the public as well as communicate new ideas with them. Just wait, you'll see.